So welcome to Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort, the latest addition to the uh, to the campus here at Coronado Springs, in addition to Grand Estino Tower. We're sitting on top of Lago Dorado right now, 14-acre lake, right in the heart of Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. Three Bridges Bar and Grill is a new open-air, natural setting restaurant. Um, great place to, to gather and relax with your friends, or if you're at a convention or you're going to the parks, perfect place to come in and grab a quick bite to eat. Um, you know, Three Bridges Bar and Grill really represents a place where all of our travelers, our authors, artists, musicians, all had a place to come and gather and rest and, sh and share a meal and share a drink together um, as they were looking for the lost cities of gold. And you'll see that when you see our menu offering. Um, there's a lot of influence from all over the world and a lot of different flavors and techniques. So personally, I always like to start with something sweet. Who says dessert has to be last? These are our warm churros and they are delicious. We fry them fresh, we toss them in a little bit of espalette pepper sugar. So there's a little bit of heat to it, but not too spicy. Dip it in the chocolate sauce, out of this world. It's, uh, it's pretty typical in Spain too to, to have your churros with coffee. Um, so here we have one of our coffee specialties. This is our Cafe Bonbon. It's a freshly brewed espresso with a little bit of sweetened condensed milk. Mix that up really well, dip your churro in there too. <laughs> Fantastic. Now up here we have our crispy chicken biscuit sliders. Uh, we bake these biscuits fresh every morning. Scallion biscuits, crispy chicken thigh on top, a fresh cabbage slaw with a light vinaigrette on it, a little bit of hot honey and blue cheese spread. Super, super delicious. Very, very identifiable. Kind of similar to those flavors you would get when you have buffalo chicken wings, right? Um, and we have some smoked paprika fries here and a little bit of smoked tomato aioli. So all of our fries are gonna come with the smoked tomato aioli. Really great accompaniment for those. Uh, if you wanna look right here now, this is a really, really fun dish. Um, it looks great walking through the dining room and sitting on the table. Very easy to share as well. So this is our shrimp corn dogs. We got rid of the hot dog, we replaced it with fresh from Florida, never frozen shrimp. No additives, no GMOs, nothing of that nature. Um, it's paired with a little bit of remoulade sauce. So we take that house made aioli, we mix in some chopped pickles, some citrus juice, some spices. Adds a really great zing to the dish. Now up here, this is our fan favorite spreadable, dippable, shareable item. This is our warm manchego and Oaxaca cheese dip. So we caramelize onions with some jalapenos, we add some milk and some cream, we fold in some aged manchego cheese from Spain, a little bit of fresh Oaxaca cheese from Mexico, top it with some chorizo, some roasted poblano peppers, freshly cut scallions. It's ooey, it's gooey, it's bubbly, it's delicious. Dip some of the blue and yellow corn tortilla chips, squeeze some lime over the whole thing. And it's great. It's a great thing to drop in the middle of the table. And share. Oh, we don't. We don't. It's all about the food and the drink here at Three Bridges. And last but most certainly not least, our curry lentil hummus. This is my personal favorite. Um, so hummus is traditionally made with chickpeas. We omit those and we substitute golden lentils. Um, this this dish's roots are really inspired by the spice route. Um, there's garlic. There's citrus juice. There's fresh herbs. We top it with a little bit of harissa paste for a little bit of heat. We have a little yogurt raita or cucumber yogurt. It really mellows out that heat and brings a nice balance to the dish. There's a healthy dose of olive oil on top, some micro cilantro, a little bit of pumpkin seeds, and on the sides to dip, we have our freshly grilled warm naan bread and also a house-made pumpkin seed and sea salted cracker. Really, really great. So you got some crunchy, you got some soft bread to go with it. Now, after going through all these, you can really see how we get worldly inspiration on our menu with all these different techniques and flavors and spices. And all of our dishes pair really, really well with our housemate sangria. And our proprietor, Athena, is going to go through making one of those. Chef Anthony, thank you. That was incredible. Thank you very I, can, much. I can see the thought that went into that. How are you, Athena? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We're so excited to have you so we can showcase our sangria collection. We've been open for a few weeks. We had a soft opening in early June. And our guests have told us that they love our sangria. So I'm excited to show you our offerings. We actually have three different types of sangria. You'll often find a red or a white sangria when you go out. But rosado, we have a rosado sangria, which is rosé. And so guests can choose from any three of these, and they can enjoy it in a glass or a pitcher. And each are made here in-house every day. So we use fresh fruit juices, beautiful Spanish wines, and Spanish liqueurs. And most of our guests don't realize how simple it is to make sangria, so I'd like to show you if that's okay. I'm gonna make you a glass of our Tinto sangria. So you'll wanna start with a glass or a mixing tin of ice. And we have three ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice and simple syrup. Three ounces of garnacha, which is a red wine made in Spain from the garnacha grape. Sometimes you'll hear it called Grenache as well. 
and one ounce of Spanish orange liqueur to add a bit of sweetness and fruitiness to the beverage. And then you're gonna stir it just for a few seconds. You don't need to shake this, it's a real gentle stir. 10 seconds or so just until it's well incorporated and chilled. And a little tip, you always wanna strain your sangria or your cocktail over fresh ice. So you have the freshest flavor possible and no watered down beverage. So we're gonna do that over a fresh glass of ice with fresh fruit garnished on the side. And voila, there you it have it. Smells amazing. That's our Tinto Sangria. And like I said, we have so many other offerings here too. So I hope that you'll come back and join us and try them out as well. Thank you so, so much. Our pleasure. Thank you so much. I don't drink a lot of alcohol, but that's delicious. That can get me to drink alcohol.